warning. This series will include nudity, violence, use of drugs, intensive language, and themes that are not suitable for young viewers. Please watch at your own risk. God, you look beat. I better hurry up and get ready before I miss class. In other words, college. But I like to call it hellhole. Jin, we need to leave now. We are gonna be late for our exam. Shit, I forgot to study. But instead, I decided to do some stupid shit last night. <sighs> well, today's the last day of class before break. So I guess I'll have to head home today to my mom and see her. It's been a while. Dude, hurry. We're gonna be super late. We don't have all day. Alright, alright. Let's get this shitty day started, I guess. Jesus, you're more slower than me in the morning, and I'm a girl. Well, I'm not pumped up on drugs like you are in the morning. Look at you. You dress like that to school? Yeah, so? I mean, we are almost going out on a break in like a week from now. And why not dress for the exam? No one will care anyways. Exactly, so? Alright, let's go. We are gonna be late. Mr. Dole does not mess around with late students. One time he took points off my test for being late. Yep. Sounds like him. Hey, just a heads up because we're going on break today, I'm going to stay with my mom for a day or two. Oh, you don't want to stay with me? Not that... It's just I haven't seen her in a while, and... Yeah. Yeah, I understand. But what am I supposed to do when you're gone? I'ma miss you. We have all day to hang after these exams. Chill. Besides, when I'm gone, can't you invite Andrew or something? Yeah, but it's not gonna be the same. With you here, it's not as boring. I hate when you leave town. I hate it too, but to be honest, it's better than staying in these shitty apartments. True. Anyways, we should probably get going. Yeah. Hey, Finn! It's been a while since I've seen you around. Where you been? Hey, Andrew. I haven't really been in the mood for school, so... Yeah, sorry I've been absent. Dude, we're in college. You can't skip like this. I mean, do you want to be kicked out? Uh, kinda? It sucks here the only person that keeps me sane is Monique. <laughs> wow, what about me? Sorry, Andrew. You keep me sane, too. <laughs> well, in the morning, I guess. Thank you. That makes me feel a bit better. Hey, I forgot to tell you there's a huge freaking party in my neighborhood tonight. And everyone's gonna come. Do you know who's throwing it? I mean, I need more details other than someone's throwing a party in your neighborhood. Like, which house? If you ever came to my neighborhood, you would know that there is a huge three-ass story near my house. That's probably the house, but no one knows who owns it. Probably some rich maniac that goes here. I bet. <sighs> God, I do not feel like doing this exam today. Same here. I only got about three hours of sleep. Well, I don't even know why I'm surprised that some people are absent. I just hope you all do at least try to get a good score, because all year three-fifths of the class were present most of this school semester. 
including me. God, I would go a week straight skipping school often. Okay, let's just see how good I can do on this test with the knowledge I know in this class so far. Considering this is a college and literally you guys don't understand that grades are important, and I don't understand how you pay tuition and don't show to class. Uh, this college has the highest dropout rate, just please do good on this test. Please. I hate when students come to me after they fail an exam asking if they can drop out. Alright, good luck on the exam. My god, my head is killing me. Everyone's talking about this party tonight. Just look at everyone on their phone. I bet they're all texting someone right now about this party. I bet. Look, I don't know if I'm coming. What? Why not? Dude, after all this stress you went through today with that exam and shit, you deserve to get fuckfaced tonight. I mean, thanks for the offer, but I think I'll pass. I'm not much of a social person, I don't know. Dude. This party is important. You seriously don't want to miss out on this one. This is probably a once in a lifetime awesome opportunity in college. You saw how this party came out of nowhere today. Andrew, I don't know. Guys, have you heard of that party tonight? Literally everyone is going. Oh my god, why? Guys, can I just get one minute of peace from this party? I mean, what's so good about it anyways? What's so good about it? What isn't good about it? They have everything there. Booze, wheat, everything. Yeah, of course you'd be interested in something like that. Uh, why not? <sighs> I know, right? I mean, Finn, there's gonna be tons of hot girls there, so... Please, just give it a try. Wait, Finn, you're not going? It's just not my crowd to be in. Sorry. Dude, do you not understand how big this would be? Uh, oh, never mind. What? I just remembered the times you were drunk. Hell, no, please don't come. How bad could Finn be if he's drunk? He's very emotional and dumb on second thought. Maybe it would be a good idea if Finn doesn't come. Come on, I'm sure I'm not that annoying. Stop making it seem like I'm a whiny bitch when I'm drunk. It's literally how you act. Whatever. Guys, how about we go hit that burger joint Andrew's mom owns down the road? After all, school's almost over. Who's in? I mean, I got nothing to do other than just get ready for the party after school. That's way later, though. In the meantime, let's go eat something. I literally haven't eaten breakfast. I was too busy trying to wake Finn up. Excuses, excuses. It does not take me all your morning to wake me up. Well, you took a while to wake up. No one told you to stand outside my door. I don't even know who even does that in the first place. It's weird. You should seriously go find something to do in the morning. Alright, drama queen. Shut it. I'm starving. Let's just go now. Fine, but I'm not paying for my meal. <sighs> Why? Why do you never have money? Like, stop buying cocaine all the damn time. Do you want me to be a bitch to you every morning? I didn't think so. So, shut it. Whatever. Let's just go before it starts raining hard like it did yesterday. I can already feel it. Why'd you have to choose my mom's job? Like, out of all the other places, you chose this shit? Hey, shut it, Tweep. Don't talk about your sweet mother's great creation that way. Shut up! Like, you know my mother. You barely even come here. 
Oh, yeah? Bet. I come here every Friday, like today, and talk to her about how much of a sweet queer you are. Whatever. I figured you kids would come down here for a nice hot meal after all that exhausting work today doing those tests. Andrew, I hope all that studying will show on your grade I get next week. Mom, can you not? Hey, Miss Waters. How are you on this fine afternoon? Oh, honey. I'm so glad you asked. I'm doing just fine now with you kids in here. I was dying to ask, how well do you think you did on the test? And Finn as well. It's been a while since I've seen you, sweetheart. It's called an exam, Mom. Well, whatever it is, I just want to know. Jeez, Andrew, stop being so annoying. <laughs> I know, right, Cheryl? <sighs> Anyways, I believe I did well. Thank you for asking, Miss Waters. <laughs> oh, please, sweetheart. Call me Cheryl. And you, Finn? I... I think I did well. I don't know. Mom, can you just give us the menu? Oh my god, you talk a lot. Andrew, stop being so salty. Be nice to your mother. Old Cheryl over here might not have much life in her. These years have been rough on me. This diner is the only thing that keeps me sane nowadays. Yeah, we all need something to distract us from the bad out there nowadays. Finn, honey, what out there could possibly be bad? The world is amazing. Life is too short, sweetheart. You're still young. <laughs> You'll be surprised, actually. Oh, Finn. You're always full of something. <sighs> now, how about I hook you kids up with some of my homemade buttermilk pancakes? Oh my god, Cheryl. I've been craving them all day. Please. But I'm kind of short right now, so... Monique Sugar, you know damn well I'll hook you up and your buddies here any day. Especially after that big exam, as they say. I bet you guys would kill for five. You bet. Now hurry. My stomach is killing me, and you're talking. All right, sweetheart. Be back in a few. And Andrew, don't annoy your friends. I like them. Whatever. Andrew, I haven't seen you this mean to your mother in a while. What's going on? Sorry. I'm just being a little salty because my dad is out of town. I wanted to stay with him on break, but he had the choice to work in town or out of town. But he chose to work out of town because my mom and dad were having some dumb arguments. Aren't you an adult? This shouldn't bother you. I mean, at least be lucky you have a dad and a mom. That's kinda rare nowadays. I know my life would have been so much different if I at least had a mom or a dad. Or someone. Yeah, I mean, God. If my dad were alive, I don't know if I'd even be in college. I'd most likely be doing something different with my life. <sighs> Alright, sorry guys, I get it. It's just, it's kinda stressful without him around. I, I guess I should take my anger out on my mom. Didn't mean for this conversation to be so dark and gloomy. Jesus. Yeah, she's my mom too. So like be nice, jerk. My god, Monique, do you know you can be annoying sometimes? Yep, and I'm proud of it. Finally, thanks. I'ma murder these pancakes right in front of all you guys' faces. Yeah, thanks Cheryl. And okay, Monique. No problem, sweethearts. I'm going to be in the back if you need anything else. Just feel free to holler my name. You don't even have to walk over to me. So, about this party... Seriously, shut up. 
we were doing fine not mentioning that party. Sorry we're not so boring like you, Finn, and we like to go out and have some fun. I mean, we are on break after all, why not celebrate? I don't even know why bother with Finn. Just looking at him screams boring. We can't convince him to go if he doesn't want to. He's gonna stay with his mom anyways, which I find cute. Oh, you're going to stay with your mom? I thought you were staying at the apartments with Monique. Yeah, he told me this morning before school. He's going to stay with his mom for a couple of days. Yeah, sorry, Andrew. I mean, you can go chill with Monique. As I said, it's not the same without you. Guys, you'll be fine. It's only three nights. Three nights away from you? It's going to be boring. We're gonna miss you. Guys, chill. It's not even that long. I guess. Hey, it's almost four. Yeah. Me and Andrew should probably get going if we want to get ready for this party. It starts at 6. Come on guys, seriously? I mean, can't we just chill a bit longer? It's two hours away. Well, unlike you, it doesn't take me that long to get ready. But I'm trying to go shopping. I'm sorry. With whose money? Andrew, I love you a lot and I like your outfit today. <sighs> okay. I know what you're doing. Why me? Because we're going shopping. And you're my fifth gay BFF with more money than any of us. Well, okay. I mean, at least it's better than doing nothing for two hours. Exactly, so you know what I mean. Are you guys talking about that huge party near my house? Yeah. Jesus, I know they're going to blast music louder than a concert all the way to 3 a.m. Like hell, that party's going to last all night. Oh my god, Mom, don't ruin this, please. I'm not even going to be home tonight. And I need you to look after Cookie and Scarlet. The dogs? Really? Yes, they are my children, and they need babysitting. So you are not leaving the house. You need to wash them and make sure they eat. Oh my god, mom, please stop being a buzzkill. Andrew, I am not going to argue with you. Now, when I leave work, I am going to have to leave the state immediately to do some errands. What errands? Uh, just grown folk stuff. Like I said, don't leave the house, or I'll make sure your whole break is a buzzkill. Hmm. Anyways, would you sweethearts want me to whip you up any dessert? Anything for you guys to go? No, thanks Cheryl. If you could some alone time, please. No problem, sweetheart. Be safe this break, okay? My contact is in your phone, right? Yep. Alright, good. Text me if you need anything, or if Andrew is sneaking out, or doing anything he's not supposed to do. Sure, you bet I will. Thanks, sweetheart. See you guys soon. I can't leave, dude. She'll find out and take my car away. Not if she knows you left. I'll let her know me and you will just chill after we leave here and you'll be back before sundown. She won't notice you're gone if she's not there. Alright, I think it's time for me to leave. I don't want to interrupt you guys being edgy bad kids. It's like, uh, cringe to watch. Alright, bye Finn. I'll call you tonight, probably during the party, to see how you are. Yeah. Bye, Finn. Love you. Guys, chill. My house is only a mile away from the party. I'm not that far, but it's just you can't visit me. I will be busy. Yeah, you should go now. We have to hurry and leave soon. I'll call you tonight, okay? Make sure you pick up, because sometimes you don't, and I get salty. Alright, alright. I'll see you guys around. See ya. All right, where were we on this plan?
Home sweet. <sighs> I guess I should go check on my mom and see if she's doing all right. It's weird she didn't come to say hey to me when I walked in. Mom? Hey, Finn. God, it's been a while. I didn't hear you walk in. How are you? I'm doing fine. Just got done with exams today. Oh, how did it go? It went... fine, I guess. That's good, Finn. I've been meaning to ask you, what are all those boxes on the floor? Are you... moving or something? Oh, this? Uh, not yet. But I plan to. But this stuff is Ben's. What? What do you mean you plan to? And why is Dad's stuff on the floor? What are you doing? Look, Finn, I just need you to understand that these years of me being lonely without him... I just need somewhere else to live. This town. This state. I need to leave. I mean, really, Mom? Are you sure you want to do that? This house is everything. This town. Yeah, it's just this town is making me lose motivation. You may not understand why I'm doing this, but soon you will. I understand. It must be very tough on you since Dad. Uh, you know. <laughs> Definitely. I just... I just... I need you to understand. I understand, Mom. I just want what's best for you. If you're happy, then I'm happy. But can I ask, why is Dad's stuff on the floor? He has some stuff that could help me out a lot. What do you mean? He has some things that could be worth a decent amount that could help me out a lot when I move. You may not understand now, but if you were in my shoes, you would know how much it hurts me to do this. But I have to do it. For many reasons. Not just, you know, the money. I understand. But hey, I'm here for a couple days, so maybe we can go out and do something. Oh, yeah. I was meaning to show you this cafe down the street they just opened up. You missed a lot in this town since you left. Oh, and I was meaning to ask you, how is college? It's all right. I mean, I have close friends I can trust, so that's all that matters. Look... College is not like high school, all right? I want you to succeed. I want you to graduate. It may not seem like a big deal to you now, but grades are super important with the position you're in right now. I want you to graduate and work at Power Corp, just like your dad. Mom, you worry too much. Look, I'm going to work to get there, okay? That's my boy. Always working hard, even through tough situations. Uh, yep. Used to it. All right. Enough of this sad, mushy stuff. I knew you got work to do, so I'll leave it at that. Yeah, in fact, very important work to do. I'll be on my way to my room then. Wait. Finn, I see great potential in you. I know you'll make Mom proud. Just keep working hard for me. I love you more than you love yourself. I know I can be harsh sometimes, but trust me. Okay, Mom, I know. I love you too. I have to get to work now. Ah, <sighs> Been a while since I stepped foot in my old room. And most likely the last. I was hoping to leave my computer here so they'll never track me. But I have to take it with me now when I go back so I don't risk everything I've worked for. You're probably wondering what I'm talking about. There's a lot of things that's been left out, such as what I'm studying in college, which is computer engineering. I mean, I already know everything about it. Hell, I could teach it, but... 
I need a degree in order to work for the same company my dad did, which is called Power Corp, the largest company in the world. But it is also the most corrupted one at that. And with that corruption, it's taking it out on modern society. But there's one side of me you haven't seen of me yet. And none of my friends know this side, as well as it's very confidential and could get me killed or in massive trouble if I ever said anything out loud about it. I, Finn Williams, am a vigilante hacker by night. By day, just a regular college student. What I'm about to tell you is top secret, a conspiracy bigger than all of us. There's a powerful group of people out there that are secretly running the world. I'm talking about the guys no one knows about, the guys that are invincible. But before I get to all that, I have to get past all the other fuckers that are trying to get to the bottom of this. The main one is a hacker group that goes by the name The Pretenders. God, this hacker group is a pain in the ass. A lot of people are better than one. I just don't know how I'm supposed to take on this or keep doing this all by myself. It's a lot of work and a lot of stress. But after all, I was successful in causing the whole PowerCorp server in San Machino to shut down last week. I only did that to get other hackers' attention and even left my computer trackable to other hackers so they could notice me and invite me to their team but this hacker group found me but plays games they know me very damn well and in fact started texting me good morning to me every day since four days ago on my phone which i don't know how what the fuck what's happening fuck are they playing with me again I know you can hear me. What the fuck are you playing at? Hello? Guys, I know you know where I am right now. Stop fucking playing around and just meet me somewhere. God, I need you. Just, just, please, reach out to me. Please, I need you guys. I, I can't do this alone. Fuck! Why me? Why? Honey? Who are you talking to? Is everything fine? Yeah, Mom. Sorry, didn't mean to freak you out just... Uh, on the phone with some friends. Do you mind if you leave the call or something for a second? I want you to come to the kitchen to meet someone. Uh... Alright. Sure. Alright. I'll be in the kitchen. Stop. Fucking around with me, guys, I swear. I don't know when or how, but you guys better be fucking planning to see me. I can't do this alone. Mom, who is this? This is my husband, Jack. Wait, what? When did you meet this guy? Finn. He's not just some guy. He's my husband. Excuse me, if I may, Finn? Uh, Finn? Uh, is it? It's Finn. And who do you think you are? And Mom, who do you think you are? You just met this guy, and you are already engaged to him? Uh, how long? How long what? How long have you been engaged to him? Almost three months. We met earlier this year. Please, Finn. Oh my god. Mom, David, and now this dude? You're dragging unnecessary guys in your life that won't even fucking last a year. This is going to be your third divorce since dad passing, and... 
I can feel it. Finn, I don't know who you're talking to with that lip, but it is certainly not me. Not in my house. I know you care, but I need someone in my life. I need someone to help keep me company through these huge changes I'm undergoing in my life. Like moving and such. But this isn't the way to fucking go. There's other ways you can cope with this. All these men you're bringing in is just making things worse. You can't do this. You can't marry him. Finn, like I said, I know you care, but this is my decision and I need you to accept this. Jack is very loyal and will provide for me. He also has kids to keep me company as well. Mom! <laughs> you can't... You can't be serious. Finn, I know things look terrible right now, but I assure you, I will do everything in my power to fill your dad's role. Hold on. Fill my dad's role? Who the fuck do you think you are coming into my mom's life and talking like you know my dad? I bet Charlotte here told you each and everything about my dad and how we used to abuse her. That is enough! Finn, I'm tired of you shifting blame on me and Jack. This has nothing to do with Jack here. I'm tired of you coming in and disrespecting my love life like you know each and everything about me and your dad. Have you just ever sat down and wondered how I felt that night when Ben took his car to come get you at some girl's house? While you were passed out drunk on her couch, even though I told him not to come get you. But he did anyways, and I'm suffering till this day because you chose some horrible choices in high school that led to your dad going away. It's no wonder I'm struggling right now and moving away from this town because you chose to do the shit you did that night. So you're blaming me now? After... Dad died, you told me he died in a car accident on the way home from work. I guess I was too fucked up that night and woke up the next day and you lied to me and told me that. Then I... I guess that's how we died, huh? Because of me? And now you know I didn't mean... Then what did you mean? You already told me the truth about what happened that night. You hide important things from me. You're just like your old self. You've never changed. Just like you hid Jack from me. Just like you hid your depression from me. What else are you hiding? Finn, there's nothing else I'm hiding. You know, I never confronted you on your stomach. Are you also pregnant? I just... I didn't know when to tell you. I wanted it to be a surprise after I introduced you to Jack. Well, congratulations. You did one hell of a surprise tonight. I'm wasted, losing time. I'm a foolish, fragile. Finn, what are you doing right now? Kind of dealing with bullshit with my mom. What about you? Yikes. I'm sorry. Well, Monique just left and the party's over. And I'm just sitting out here chilling outside this big house. There's a lot of people still here, though. Damn, it's like 12 a.m. What the hell? Yeah, I'm about to be at my house. Want to come over and chill? My mom has a secret stash of alcohol in their room. We could go through that and drink like no tomorrow. I mean, I don't know about we because I already have a buzz, but it seems like you need a shot or more than 10 shots. Uh, yeah. Sure, I'll be over there in 15 minutes. Yeah, see you.
Jack, is it? I'll be leaving first thing in the morning. Let my mom know. God, there's probably cops all around town now, not just here. <sighs> Come in, door is unlocked. Hey, before you say anything, I already have a bottle ready in the kitchen. Let's go. Oh my god. Are you serious? Yeah, go ahead. Looks like you need it. But this stuff will really fuck you up if you drink a lot. I don't want you drinking straight from the bottle. It's fine. Nah, still, just to be safe, I mean, I don't have cups, but I have empty beer bottles. Come pour you some. <sighs> oh there, I think you legit just drank half the bottle. Do you know what that stuff is? No. What? Dude, just drinking like four teaspoons fucks you up. Like, really fucks you up. I meant to pour you like a tiny bit, not half the bottle. Dude, oh my god. How are you feeling right now? Are you good? Are you fine? Yeah, I feel fine. Okay, I'm just gonna take you out on a walk to talk about things and sober you up by eating. I have a non-ending supply of pizza rolls. Sounds good. I could use some fresh air. Walking here was fine and all, but it would be nice to talk to someone. Same. I've been having some thoughts to share with you lately. I need to get off my chest. Yeah, sure, let's go. Dude, you want to walk out with that bottle? Are you sure? Yeah, why not? I don't want you walking out with that. Cops are all out tonight because of that crazy party. You gotta be good at hiding it, though. If we're gonna leave. Yeah, I guess. But are you sure you don't have any, like, solo cups or something? <sighs> Anyways, let's just go. I need some fresh air. It's fine. If you say so. Hey buddy, are you okay? I mean, I know we're a bit far from home, but keep it together. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. But I'd like to stop here. Yeah, it's fine. My legs are getting tired from walking. Well, why stop here specifically? You see that house right in front of us? Yeah, what about it? When my dad and mom used to fight, my dad would always stay here for a few days. He had his own place? I thought he lived with you guys though. He did. It may seem weird that he lives kind of in the same neighborhood, but some nights the fights would be so bad. He had to leave to come to this place. He rarely came here though because he tried to work through my mom's bullshit. But sometimes it just got that bad he actually had to purchase a house near my house behind my mom's back. <sighs> a little before he died, my mom found out he had a second place, just to escape from her, and she started to feel like everything was her fault when it was actually my fault. They would always fight over custody of me. Dude, it's not your fault. Like, I'm positive. 
I'm tired of hearing things that will satisfy my mind and what I want to hear, but in reality, it is my fault. If I just didn't go to her house that night. Who, whose house? It was like last year we had a thing. We only met you this college semester, so you don't know a whole lot about me and Monique. But we for sure don't mess around anymore. We're just friends now because I fucked it up. Our relationship, like, I fucked up everything else. Damn, Finn. I had no idea you guys were even a thing. <sighs> yeah. I fucked that shit up, and that's not even the worst part. I found out my dad basically just died because of me, because my mom lied about his death to protect me from the hurtful truth. <laughs> Why do people do that? Why can't they just be straightforward and honest? To protect you from being hurt. She maybe did that because she loves you too much to see you hurt. But it's better than just lying. Lies feel good for a while, but when you find out that person was hiding the truth from you for such a long time, that shit fucking hurts worse than the truth. Why would anyone that loves someone ever do that to someone? There can be many reasons as to why you should do that. You can't blame yourself, Finn. It was just some weird coincidence that happened that night. It was no one's fault. No one, do you hear me? Stop blaming yourself. It was just something that happened unexpectedly that night, dude. Like I said, I'm tired of hearing things that will satisfy my mind. When I know in reality, it's my fault. I chose to go there, I chose to get drunk that night, it's, it's no one's fault but mine. My dad's just a good dude. He drove to come to get me after his late work shift when he couldn't even open an eye to focus on the road. It's not his fault, nor my mom's. It's mine. God, I'm so fucking stupid. Finn, listen. I... I just... Hey Finn, are you good? Are you okay? <sighs> Finn, we kinda have to go, it's getting late. Finn? Ah! Why? Why me? Why the fuck me? Why can't you go fuck with someone else? Finn, stop! You're being loud, you're gonna draw attention! Fuck everything! The pretenders, come out! If you can hear me! I know you're fucking watching me struggle! Just come out already! Fucking show yourselves! Help me escape this town! Finn, who's that? I have to go, shit! My fault. Ah, oh, God, what have I got myself into this time? I don't even remember why I'm here. Last night, all I remember was yelling and, ah. Uh, God, those handcuffs really fucked up my wrist. God, it hurts. Shit. I need some water more than anything right now. You made bail. Shit. Wh what? 
And was I supposed to be in jail? No. They just decided to put you in a holding cell until someone pays your bail. You got caught underage drinking and vandalizing property. A lot of kids like you are here today, so you're not the only one, but someone paid your bail, so you're free now. How much was it? I'm not sure. All I know is you made bail. Shit. It was probably mom. I don't want her spending any money on my stupid ass. I can't believe I'm putting my mom through this. She doesn't need this shit right now. Who is it? Some chick. God, it's probably mom. I don't want to speak to her right now. She's right outside that door there. Follow me. I will escort you out. Who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Sky, one of the members of the Pretenders. How are you, Finn? Uh, how, how many, how many of you are there? You'll see when we get there. God, you look fucked. Well, let's go. I don't want to keep the others waiting. They're dying to meet you, Finn. I just hope they're back by now. <sighs> Here goes nothing. I let you in my brain I used to doubt, now I believe Losing your black magic on me I don't know how you do what you do But you do it so good to me My favorite you in my brain I used to doubt now I believe I let I want all that is not mine I want him but we I'm going Just go.